Whether you are writing a research paper or review or a thesis, one thing you cannot escape is the literature review because it is the foundation of your research. And to be honest, literature review is also one of the toughest parts. You need to collect all the right papers, go through them, organize the information, take down the notes and then somehow write everything in a structured way while taking care of the references. So in this video, I will walk you through the step by step process of writing a literature review, how it is normally done and also share a few AI tools that I personally find useful to make the whole process faster and easier. Of course, you can always do everything manually if you prefer, but these tools can really save a lot of your time. It's totally up to you. Now let's say I am working on the topic effect of mindfulness on cellular aging. The first step is to search for relevant literature which mainly includes research articles and review papers. The traditional way is to use databases like Google Scholar. You enter the keywords, check the titles and save the paper to your library that looks relevant. The great thing about Google Scholar is that it is totally free, has a huge database and offers advanced options for filtering to narrow down the results by authors, year of publishing or specific journals. So it works quite well. But there are two major issues with Google Scholar. First, you need to keep trying different keywords so you don't miss some of the most relevant papers because it doesn't really understand the context. Second, it gives you a mix of good peer-reviewed articles and not so reliable sources like preprints and conference abstracts. So you need to be careful and spend enough time identifying reliable papers. Once you have collected the papers, the next task is screening and reading them. And this can take a lot of time because you often have 30 to 40 papers or even more piled up. If you use Google Scholar or similar search engines, you mostly get the title and short snippet. So you often have to go through the entire paper to draw useful insights and take down the notes. That's the traditional way and it works fine, but it does require a significant amount of time investment. If you want to learn how to read a research paper quickly and gain insights without using AI, I highly recommend checking out this video. Now, if you want to save time, you can try AI-assisted search tools. One such tool is Consensus, which lets you search the literature about a specific topic or question and provides a list of most relevant articles. It even tells you what type of a study each paper is, like a clinical trial, systematic review, observational study, or something else. Along with this, you get an option called Ask the Paper, which gives you summaries and instant answers so you don't have to read the entire paper to find out if it's really relevant. But this option works only if the full PDF access is available. And if you want to get paid articles for free, which anyway you will often need, there are some legit ways that I have shared in my another video. So you can absolutely stick to Google Scholar or other database if you prefer manual searching and reading. But if you want a faster, more focused search, tools like Consensus can really help you. Now comes the important part, organizing the literature. A good literature review doesn't just list one study after another. You need to look at the common themes, compare the results, point out the contradictions and highlight the gaps. Traditionally, you would do this by going through each paper you have screened, taking the notes in Word or maybe Excel and grouping the studies by topic method or year of publication. That still works perfectly fine, but if you would like more advanced digital organization option, you can consider tools like Notion AI. It allows you to manage the literature, take the notes alongside the paper and let AI help you to cluster them into themes and find the gaps. The key is don't start writing without organizing your notes first. Otherwise, your literature review will just turn into a list of summaries. Once your notes are ready, the writing part is much easier. A basic literature review usually has three parts. Introduction, where you set the background and explain why the topic is important. Main body, where you organize the studies by themes, methods or chronology. Conclusion, where you provide the closing statement, highlight the challenges and point out the gaps or future directions. Now, if you are non-native English speaker or not very confident in academic writing, you can make use of AI writing assistant like Yum, which can help you create outlines, paraphrase sentences, or check your grammar and plagiarism. But again, this can be done completely manually if you are comfortable with writing and have that much of time. Finally, 
Once you are done with the writing part, you should make sure that you have cited the papers referred. Citations are important to avoid plagiarism and make your work more credible. Maybe you have written your draft by yourself and then realized you forget to cite one or more papers. Searching those missed papers can be really frustrating. Or you might have a list of references, but they are not in the right format. Fixing this manually can take hours and you might still end up with errors. And missing references or formatting them incorrectly often delays the publication. For this problem, I find the AI tool Sourcely very helpful. It scans your entire document, highlights the sentences that need citation, and then suggests a list of relevant papers in just one click. It gives you summaries, links to the original sources, and even PDFs when available. You can save the papers to the library or export the references in any format you like, for example, APA, MLA, BibTeX, or any other. Exporting the references in BibTeX format makes them compatible with other reference managers like Zotero or Manly. Now, of course, you can manage and format the references manually as I did with my first paper, but the major reason I don't recommend it to you is because manual referencing is still error prone. And if for some reason your paper get rejected and you plan to submit it to some other journal, you might need to format all the references into a different style, which is seriously a waste of time. This is where reference managers are real lifesavers, reducing hours of your work to just a few minutes. So that's the full workflow of writing a literature review. You first search for papers, read them, take down the notes, organize them, and then move on to writing and adding the references. You can do all of this manually the traditional way, but if you find it challenging and want to speed up the things, the AI tools I mentioned in this video can be of great help. I leave the links to these tools and my detailed tutorials in the description in case you want to check them out. Finally, if you find this video useful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more research related tips and tutorials. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I always enjoy reading your thoughts and replying them. Also, if you would like to support the channel and get some extra perks like early access, priority responses and other benefits, you can join my channel membership. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.